welcome back everybody I wanted to make another video about our IKEA pack system as we finish the closet today will be about wallpaper or fabric backing now I'm not going to go into detail about how to build these IKEA pack systems they're pretty self-explanatory you can kind of see as I'm wrapping it up but we'll get into it in just a minute Once you have your cabinet built, what you want to do is put it face down where you would normally install the hard backing. We're now going to roll out our fabric. So you can see us rolling out our fabric. And what we want to do is start stapling at the very top of the cabinet. Now the reason why we start at the top is because we want to line our pattern. Now if your fabric doesn't have a pattern or a repeating pattern, this step is not as important. But you can see we're starting at the top. And what we're going to do is stand it up and then proceed with stapling the sides. Now I use the pneumatic stapler, but you can definitely get away with using a manual stapler. The important thing is you want to keep your staples about three to four inches apart. That will give you a nice tight hold around the area. Now once you're done, you want to cut around the excess and just leave about half an inch to an inch all around the cabinet. once you're done stapling you definitely want to put a couple staples in at the bottom but you'll have a finished product that looks something like this the main reason why we picked fabric over backing was because we wanted to avoid that seam down the middle and while we did contemplate putting wallpaper on the backing we could not find wallpaper wide enough most papers that we did like were 20 to 24 inches wide which would still create a seam somewhere in the closet now the biggest pro in going fabric over wallpaper was the cost. We found this fabric at a local fabric shop that was $6 a meter. We only needed 2 meters to finish one of these IKEA pack sets. Now when you compare that to wallpaper that was 21 inches wide, it was going somewhere around $40 to $50 per roll. Finishing the whole closet in fabric backing cost us $108. If we were to do the same area in wallpaper, it would be $640. Now the only con to not installing the backing was you lost a little bit of stability. For us it was not an issue since we were connecting the cabinets together. The only other con was that the fabric picked up a little bit of lint, but that was not an issue for us. Now if you don't own a stapler, you can definitely use nails, but this would be a lot easier to do with a stapler, so you might have to invest in one. So there you have it. Here's what the final product looks like. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching.